very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I'm really very proud to share with you our results from the extreme trader forex signals group we have really met fantastic results and yesterday Wednesday was just outstanding as usual uh, AUD GPY 20 pips of profit euro AUD 30 pips of profit and again 50 pips of profit and 60 pips of profit and please look at that the losses 3 pips of loss, 8 pips of loss. That is the, what we are doing exactly my friends. We are trying to reduce the losses to the maximum and aiming to huge profits. Actually, this is the best answer for everyone who criticizing us for having a 20 pips as a take profit number one. Uh, against 50 pips as a stop loss. We never reach the stop loss. It's very rarely happening. Rarely. Those who have not yet joined the premium group, they don't know this fact. They are just looking at what's what what they can see from uh, outside or without joining. However, those who have really joined the premium group, they know the reality and they know that we are rarely reaching any stop loss and we are closing usually the trades with uh, minimum losses. If in case we saw a price action indicating that this signal is no longer valid. This gentleman here, he have actually made $401 of profit in just one single day of using the profits and he just paid 50 euros to join per month. I mean, that's really amazing. Closed as I was happy with my profits. Thank you. And again, thank you, Angela. That was, uh, I have gained since 2nd September. I pray it continues good work. And as you can see, these are the guys who have actually entertained and used our signals. These are the guys who you should have asked if they, sh uh, if they are entertaining the signals or not. And yes, the, indeed, the Tuesday was amazing day that we have delivered more than 500 pips of profit for our uh, clients. So amazing and we are doing really well and I'm very happy for the results. Uh, in the end, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's move right now to the live trading session and today actually I'm planning to use the gold scalping on one minute time frame. Uh, for those who just want to learn this strategy, please go to my channel and head to this video right here which I have uploaded uh, five months ago. New Forex strategy, scalping gold on one minute candles and you can follow it later by these two videos of live trading using the scalping of gold on one minute time frame as well. Uh, please be sure to, to watch these videos before you proceed with this one otherwise you might actually get lost and you want to actually get what am I doing in this video. So I need to clear something here. Um, first of all this is indeed of course my live account and as usual I think I'm gonna need to prove it first. Uh, please forgive my very poor uh, video editing skills. Um, you can look here at the top to the left. I'm hiding here where the account number is gonna uh, be displayed because I just want to hide I, I want to I want to hide the account number so I'm just hiding where it's gonna be displayed and there it is I'm on IC markets live server number 12 so this is indeed my live account and let's now proceed again like that let me just fix it okay so I want to clear something here first um, you might notice also that I'm using a very small account size of only $660. Um, there is a good reason for that. Let me just uh, just please explain it to you. So I originally have $2,400 dedicated for trading purposes and instead of depositing $2,400 in this trading account and then using uh, the lot size, the proper lot size to not risk more than $600, $600 in the trades and to avoid losing to my emotions because I'm an emotional person and I actually might fall to my emotions. Therefore, I decided that what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of or, or I can I can cut a chunk of $600 from this account and deposit the whole $600 in the live trading account. By that, I know exactly how much I'm going to risk on these trades and I know exactly how much I can lose if in loss, if in case uh, there was a losses. Uh, that's my philosophy in trading Forex and that's what I really like to do. So that is the reason actually what I'm going to do today is I'm going to trade with one whole lot size for these scalps on the gold. Again, 
uh, my losses in worst cases is gonna be my full detected uh, dedicated amount of trading which is $660 and I think this is uh, very useful and I really encourage you guys to try this one uh, try this stem because it's gonna be very helpful for you and I think it's the best way to fight your emotions when you have a big account and you are uh, afraid of losing it so let's now f uh, study the chart to find our best levels where we can start actually buy or short the gold now of course as per the strategy rules we need first to check the four hour chart and on the four hour chart what we can see that right now we are actually on a, uh, on a resistance level so by studying the structure and I know from my weekly analysis that this uh, week the gold is going to continue the fall and by seeing that we had here a previous resistance zone and right now we are still inside that resistance zone the market has actually made a strong attempt to break out from that level of the previous resistance however it failed against that previous support level and the, the gold has reversed and what we can see right here is a good price action indicating a bearish reversal and right now we can see that this is another price action which is good for a bearish reversal as well and the current candle right here is actually trying to go up but eventually it's going to continue the fall that being said we need to look now for sell orders we will look only for sell orders for the gold and i'm going to avoid all the buy orders now let's go back to the one minute time frame so on the one minute time frame what are the good setups that we can see here first of all we can see that we had right here a previous support which was also a resistance in the past and it was also a key support level so we know that this level here cannot be ignored and we are going to use it for our scalping next uh, what we can see right here is after this bearish breakout candle the market has already created here a resistance number one remember i am on the one minute time frame on the gold and as per the rules, the strategy rules, we need to look only for like 10 or 15 pips uh, of uh, results from each trade. So if I place my, my sell order right here, okay, the candle is getting closer. If I place the sell order right here at the second attempt on, uh, sorry, of resistance number two, and if I exit my trade at the nearest support, which is exactly right here, that means I'm going to get 16 pips of profit which is gonna be fantastic and gonna be perfectly fine that being said again uh, what we need to do right now is we will wait for this candle to reach a little bit more uh, sorry to rise a little bit more and reach that level of resistance number two and then i'm going to place the sell order exactly right here and if the candle might goes against me i'm gonna give it uh, space until that previous resistance which was also right here a resistance number one so the candle is already falling i think we have to wait for the candle to rise a little bit more before we start shorting it so therefore please allow me to pause the recording and i'll be back to you once i'm gonna open the trade all right so the candle is getting very closer to our uh, entry point and i'm thinking to place the sell order right away because we can see that we are having right here a previous resistance as well and the candle seems like it's gonna reverse there and the problem with the one minute candles it's really hard to predict and that's the reason actually i'm zooming out that much because i want to see a bigger picture because actually you cannot really tell much from the candles you cannot depend on any price action on the one minute time frame that's the thing and that is the uh, golden rule for the strategy don't decide anything on the price action based on the one minute time frame you need to zoom out like that and you need to look at the patterns to understand where you can place your sell or buy orders so we're still waiting for the candle to rise a little bit more and i'm thinking if i should open the trade right away i think i'm gonna do it yes i'm gonna do it and i have done it exactly yes and as you can see the candle has already fall yes fantastic we are already going in the good profit yes fantastic and let me please explain the reason why did this candle reverse exactly right here and why did i place this, this the short here actually the candle might go a little bit more again up however uh, i don't want to miss this opportunity and i decided to place the sell order right here so what we are having right here is actually two two levels of a resistance the first one which is this one right here and this level has already been respected 
as a resistance now what happened later on the market has actually made a strong bearish uh, fall like that and there was a chance that the market might go again up here to create a resistance number two as I just said however we also have a strong resistance right here which was on the one minute time frame it was a key resistance level and that level cannot be ignored also that level of the resistance has been broken out here by a fake breakout when you see a fake breakout you should know that there is a chance that the market actually gonna go up again to the same level and retest the same level again so that fake breakout we can consider it as it it, it hasn't even happened before so that's the reason i had to place the sell order right here and we can see i told you the candle might go a little bit more up again and i really doubt that is gonna exceed that resistance zone which i have drawn here because we are stuck right now uh, within these two resistance levels however there is always that chance to lose the trade. There is, that is always happening. Um, we need to understand how these candles are going to move if in case we are about to lose the trade. So what we should do exa exactly. Now, let's assume that this, this, this candle might go against me and the trade is going to be in loss. It's important to understand and reading these candles to, to, to know exactly where you can expect the candle to continue the rise. So by looking here at the left, we can see that we really had here a strong key resistance level that key resistance level for sure cannot be ignored especially because on the four hour time frame we are on a resistance level it means that the market is going to continue the fall right after the reversal right here from that resistance so that resistance right here it already had two attempts one and two and the market is going to continue the fall so if the okay we're in good profit by the way i was about to close the trade so let me just continue because of if the candle is gonna go against me i can expect the candle to reverse exactly at that resistance and then i can open another sell order so actually that is the reason i hit the live trading videos because i'm busy explaining okay look at that we are already in 11 pips of profit Fa fantastic fine done look at that now the candle is reversing exactly where I have closed the trade because I'm not getting greedy and I'm following my strategy rules strictly. The strategy rule says you have to aim 10 pips of profit only from each scalping trade and that is exactly what I have done here and I decided I'm going to close the trade with 10 pips only. Now it's a matter of where we can look for the next trade. It is exactly what I have told you. Now we can see that the market is reversing at that support level. So I'm going to wait some time and I'm not going to open any other trade except for the gold. Therefore, we need to wait some time and I'm going to see if the market going to rise a little bit more up here and hit that resistance level. That's going to be a fantastic trade. Actually, I have to be honest here. Um, it's kind of making me nervous to use one lot size trading gold on such a small account. However, I think it is... Uh, also a relief to know that I have a, a dedicated amount of $660 right now it is $729 and that means I have about uh, $70 of profit and I can risk the uh, I can now risk the profit so um, from a $660 actually yeah $660 we have made $70 of profit now on my next trade I'm going to risk these profits that, that, that I have made and I'm gonna keep my initial deposit safe that's exactly what I'm doing that is uh, what I'm advising everyone to do to slowly grow your account and later on uh, keep your deposit your initial deposit safe and only trade your profits that's how you can stay longer in this field in this field and in trading forex so um, we have to wait some time until we have the next uh, perfect setup so please allow me to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later once i'm gonna open the next uh, trade all right so what we can see right now is that the candle has, has actually made a second attempt of a resistance number two right now that means that resistance has kept its position as a resistance for two attempts already that means the market is going to continue the fall until it hit that previous support level therefore i'm going to actually place my sell order right now the reason is as i told you the market has just reversed from that resistance now the next reversal is going to happen exactly at the next resistance which is this one this one right here so the first attempt or sorry the first two attempt uh, happened on these two attempts of resistance now the second attempt is going to happen 
at the following resistance which is this one in the middle between them sorry that's why now we can expect from the expect from the market to continue the fall the bearish momentum is very strong i really highly doubt sorry i highly doubt i highly doubt that the market is gonna rise above this level let's just wait and see what will gonna happen with the one minute candles everything is expected to happen you can expect everything actually so let's wait and see what will gonna happen I was depending on the pattern of uh, resist of these two resistance attempts so let's wait and see what will gonna happen in worst cases I'm gonna open another trade right here as I told you exactly on that previous resistance level right here all in all the candles uh, or the market is falling and as I told you look at that now we are risking uh, the profit that we have made plus few amount of the initial deposit I'm not feeling that nervous anymore because I know that this $600 is my 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 whole investment for uh, scalping the gold so it should be fine actually even if the whole account gone however that is not what we want of course uh, I'm just telling you um, what is my money management plan anyway uh, that's not gonna happen as I said I will not I will not allow it to happen uh, let's see now what will gonna happen and as I told you look at that the candle is reversing so we just need to wait some more time and see how the market is gonna react to that level of the resistance so if the market is gonna rise a little bit more up I will open another trade right here to recover the losses I don't think I can use an another lot size uh, I don't think I can use another one lot size on the next trade we will see how much I can use on the next trade once I am opening it if I had to so uh, until then Please allow me to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this running trade. As I told you, the candle is rising a little bit more against uh, our entry and it's very close to the resistance level that I have mentioned. And so far the losses is $151. However, as I, as I, as I said before, it's okay. Yeah, I told you, we cannot use uh, even 0.50 lot size. 0.40, yes, that's fine. And the account is already going in red. That's not good at all. However, I know what I'm doing. I think I regret actually opening this trade here. It was um, I rushed because I was depending on the one minute time frames, and that is not really good uh, to to to, prepare, to actually to look at the price action of the one minute time frame. It's not reliable at all. However, I had to move the stop loss right here, as you can see, just to save my account from being blown out, and. Actually, I'm not happy to see the red here. However, uh, it's going to reverse exactly as I told you. It's very ideal actually to understand how this market works because looking here at that resistance is telling us that that resistance is also going to remain as a resistance. Uh, that's very important to understand this because sometimes the people or the traders, especially the beginners, they will feel now nervous. They will feel... Um, Maybe they will want even to close the trade and loss already and they will get upset and they will decide the strategy doesn't work. But I want to remind you that since the beginning, I told you that the market might reverse right here and the candle actually might go a little bit more against us and it's going to reverse definitely on that resistance level. I said that in the beginning so many times. And I'm from my experience as a day trader, I know that is exactly what will going to happen and I'm, I'm, re I'm actually... Uh, relieved and feeling good because I know the candles will definitely fall. I mean, if in worst cases, I'm gonna lose only one hundred and um, eighty dollars. I think no, 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 less than that. I'm going to lose one hundred and thirty dollars only because I have already made seventy dollars from the previous trade. That means if I lost in this in worst scenarios, I'm gonna lose about one hundred twenty, one hundred thirty dollars, which is totally fine. I can easily recover during this video itself so uh, the thread is going on please allow me to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two running trades so of course as we can see uh, the pair has reversed exactly as I was saying in the beginning is gonna reverse on that resistance that resistance cannot be ignored because as uh, as I said on the four hour charts we are definitely on a resistance level and the pair is uh, reversing uh, it's making the bearish reversal right now after the fake breakout from that level now I'm just paying for my mistakes because right now um, if I have entered exactly as what I have said before, uh, I, which I should have been actually in 12 pips of profit. However, I'm paying for the mistake I have done by opening the trade late right here. 
and that is not good at all especially that I'm trading with the one lot size so that was a big mistake right here to open the trade I should have waited for the perfect moment to enter and as I said before uh, when I'm recording these live trading videos I'm just getting nervous and it's it's not as um, comfortable when I'm trading by myself however um, my understanding of how this market works have uh, saved me because I know exactly where or I can expect exactly sorry I, I, I don't want to say that I know I want to say that I, I can expect where the market might reverse and I said it's gonna reverse exactly at that resistance level so we have to wait of course you, you might notice that the losses are still bigger than the profit of course that's normal because on the first trade which was the wrong trade I have used the whole lot size but on the second one I have used 0 0.4 so of course uh, we have to wait the candles to go down below my initial or so be below my uh, um, first trade before we can actually be in a good profit so I'm gonna have to wait for the candle actually to fall down and it's already there look at that the candle is getting closer and the total is almost zero so yeah we just gonna have to wait some time before we close the, these two trades so until then i'm gonna pause the recording and i'll be back to you later and thankfully we have uh, i have been able to fix uh, the first trade and as you can see we are now going into the profit and the first trade has actually made 14 pips of profit while this one has made five pips hundred dollars of profit i'm gonna take it right now and end this video and 831 dollars of profit have been made from this uh, from these two trades now of course i just wanted to mention that i don't want to pretend uh, to pretend to be someone i'm not uh, of course, of course, there was a chance that I'm gonna lose this trade if the pair continue the rise. However, from my own analysis, I I felt that it's not gonna happen, and because on the four-hour chart we are on a resistance, therefore the pair is definitely gonna continue the fall. Also, this price, this pattern here, indicating that the market is gonna continue the fall. That's why uh, I depended on this uh, key resistance level and that key resistance level as well to know that the pair is not really gonna exceed that level of the resistance so please be careful when you are using this strategy it's very profitable yet it's very dangerous because if you don't know what you are doing if you don't have enough experience you might actually end up blowing your account that's why I'm I'm advising you guys to follow my um, way and deposit whatever you are planning to risk on this uh, scalping uh, on these scalpings so you know exactly how much you can lose and this is in the worst cases and I hope it will it won't it will not happen with anyone so um i think that's enough uh, we had enough uh, of uh, scalping the gold today and i think um later on i'm gonna do some live trading as well for the uh, pound pairs however that's it for the gold today in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching